Hello, and welcome to today's video. My name is Elliot. Thank you, Elliot. Hi there, everyone. My name's Arnold, and today we're going to talk about Mango Power. So, Elliot, please tell us more about it. The Mango Power M is our latest product, and it's a complete home energy solution. With a 12 kilowatt hybrid inverter that's scalable depending on your needs, this solution ensures that whether you're using solar PV, the grid, EV, or more, that you'll have one system that controls everything. It uses leading CATL LFP batteries that are used by the world leading EV manufacturers, and it's all controllable and monitored by your phone. We use the Mango Power app to intelligently control your energy and ensure that you can control when you want to sell energy back to the grid or hold on to it. In the case of an emergency, this also serves as an emergency backup solution, ensuring that whatever happens, you'll have complete energy independence. mounting a Mango Power M system. In this video, we'll show you how to mount your Mango Power M system onto a wall. Before starting an installation, make sure you've read all the relevant safety information before you proceed with the installation. Step 1. Install the inverter. Before installing the inverter, make sure you've prepared the correct bracket and the bracket is facing up when you attach it to the wall. Next, we'll hang the inverter. The inverter hangs onto the bracket just like this. And the final result will look something like this. Next, we'll prepare the M cabinet for installation. Install the hooks at the back of the cabinet to make sure it can fit to the wall. Then, carefully mark where you're going to attach the cabinet to the wall. Drill your holes, attach, and you're ready to install. The last step is to simply hang the cabinet against your newly installed hook. Tighten it at the bottom, and you're done. wiring and installing your Mango Power M system. Before starting any electrical work, you always need to hang safety information relevant to where you're working. Start by removing the side covers on the M cabinet. Then, one by one, install the included M batteries. These simply slide into the back of the machine. Mm -hmm. 
make sure to use all relevant screws to secure the batteries in place. Then we can begin to connect the M batteries to the M cabinet directly. Start by first attaching the ground cables to the bottom left of each battery as shown here. At the bottom of the system, you'll see where we can connect all of our cabling together. So make sure you unscrew and attach all of the earth cables to the bottom. Next up, using the orange and black wiring, connect each battery to the side of the M cabinet. Starting from the first battery, located in the top right, ensure you wire each battery to connect and communicate with each other as shown in this diagram here. Your batteries also need to communicate with each other, so make sure you've attached the white cables as shown here. And internally, this is how an M cabinet system should look. Make sure each battery is assigned to a unique channel to avoid any conflict between each battery. Always operate from the top right battery first as this is the dedicated first battery in the system. That's the end of installing the internals, so we can now attach the covers back onto the M panel. Next, we'll connect the M cabinet into the hybrid inverter. First, open up the inverter. Undo the screws and detach the door. Knock out the holes to ensure you can manage the cabling into the system as efficiently as possible. You'll see in this diagram where you should first start when attaching all of the wiring to the system. First, ground cabling. Attaching that through the bottom into the system. Next, the main battery connections can be fed through to the system. They simply attach just like this. Finally, a data cable for connection monitoring that connects on the right. Once you've fed the battery cables into the system, make sure to securely tighten each cable. There should be no play in any cabling. Connect the data cable as shown. If you're connecting a PV system, you'll need to pay attention to the left side of the system attaching your cables as shown, ensuring the connection is tight and secure. 
if you're utilizing a grid or backup connection, you'll be using the following inputs. Carefully inserting and tightening to secure. For CT connections, make sure they're facing in the right direction before you attach and snap them into place. Then connect them as shown into the system. And that internally is what it should look like for your installation. Finally, we'll need to install the M Smart screen on the outside of the unit. That can be located here on the left side of the device. To mount on the wall, simply install the included bracket and then slide the device into the bracket. It will fit securely. Finally, reattach the door and your M-Power system is complete. And this is what a complete Nango Power M system looks like. This brings us to the end of our installation, so thank you very much for watching and we hope this video was informative. If you run into any problems with your installation, feel free to reach out to us at Mango Power and we'll help you out. Thanks again for watching.